Are, are you okay if I ask you some questions? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, check. Are we good? All right, my name is Abel, bro. What's your name? My name is Gilbert. Gilbert? Yep. What does your sign say, man? It says, Jesus is the cure. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I didn't get you on the mic that time. Your name? Uh, Gilbert. And what does your sign say? Jesus is the cure. Come on. What does that mean, man? It means Jesus is the cure to sin, sicknesses, disease. Uh, me, I came out of a homosexual lifestyle on my 21st birthday, so nobody condemned me or anything like this. So I'm just here sharing the love of God. Like people who are feeling lost, confused, I'm just here sharing God's love because it is the love that brings people to repentance, not condemnation. That's awesome, man. So you were once homosexual? I was. So what was that like, that process from you coming out, transitioning out of that sin? It honestly, it was a hard. It wasn't. It didn't take overnight. It took me two years to fully get over it. Like I said, I didn't have people condemning me. I didn't have people telling me what I was doing. What I was wrong. But it, I was brought into an atmosphere that caused a change in my life. And that's think, awesome. Yeah. Gilbert. So from that moment on, I've just been set free nine years now. It just hit my praise God my nine year mark. Come on. That's awesome, bro. That is a testimony, man. Come on. <laughs> let me tell you, I'm out here doing the exact same thing, brother. Hey, come on. I'm out hey, here. I'm out here hey, preaching the gospel. Let, let me ask you, man. Um, and I'm sure you can relate because you were homosexual. Um, I'm out here doing the same thing, man, spreading the love of God. Come on. But I'm also I'm also obligated by God to tell people the truth. Yep, come on. Yes, homose homosexuality a is a sin. sin. It's a sin. Just like murder. Come on. Just like uh, adultery, lust, lust, adultery, lying, anger, come lying, on. stealing. Yep. You know them. Yep. Those are sins. Yeah. So I'm out here telling them the truth that yes, yes, you are in sin, but. There's a cure for that. Come on. Um, so I think we have to be bold and we have to be oh, yeah. encouraged to tell these people the truth. Uh, because even though God loves the world and God does love the world, God want, God calls us to repentance. Come on. Right? So, um, and the reason I came to ask, the reason I came to talk to you because I was a little confused at first with the sign. Um, because, and, and, and I'm hoping that other people are not confused by the sign. I, I, would, I would hate for people to believe a false doctrine, oh, a false gospel that that Jesus is okay with this yeah. because he's not. He's not, nope. Yeah, so like I said, when people have questions about this, I'll tell them the truth. I've had a couple people come up to me and they're like, oh, what does it mean? I was like, well, Jesus is the cure. And I tell them my, my story, my testimony, I've got hated on a few times, but hey, like you said, we gotta be bold as lions, not shy little lambs. Like, I know a lot of people that go to church, they're quite, they're excited, they jump in church, they know how to praise, they know how to pray, but when they come out here, they're silent little lambs and we have to be roaring lions and that's, that's what, true. what this is. Like, I may offend some people, but I'd rather offend you here and mm. offend you to heaven than me keep quiet and silent and you go to hell. And, like and said, or yeah, be offended by God. Hey, come on. I, I love how people say only God can judge me. No, Paul says we can judge, judge as long as we take the plank out of our own eye. So I'm able to judge, I'm able to tell people, hey, what you're doing is wrong. My plank is gone. My plank was gone nine years ago, so I'm That's able awesome. to hear share the love of God. Yes. So come on. <laughs> That's awesome, Gilbert. What church you go to, man? Uh, we actually just moved here about uh, three years ago. I moved here two years ago, but we were uh, originally from L.A., Whittier, Praise Chapel, San Antonio. We launched out a church, a new church out here. Uh, it's called Praise Chapel, San Antonio. Uh, it's on 6565 Bandera Road. Our grand opening is July 2nd. That's awesome. So we're out here. Like, we're believing for homosexuals, prostitutes to come to the church and like I said we don't want fish from another pond we don't want people from other churches we want the crazy radical just drug addicted people at our church that's encouraging Gilbert that's encouraging man like I said I was a little worried when I saw your sign at first I was like and it brings people what is he trying to say yeah it brings and this brings people it it sparks curiosity like what does that mean yeah it does because it doesn't say Jesus hates sin or it doesn't say Jesus doesn't love the homosexual it's like Jesus is the cure so it's like come on hey come on I like that I appreciate that Gilbert thank you so much listen man um, are you okay if, if, if I pray for you yeah let's do it let's pray Lord I, Lord, I come before you in the mighty name of Jesus God yes, I pray Jesus. for Gilbert right now Lord Jesus for his boldness God I pray Lord Jesus that you would continue God to give him life God that you would continue Lord to give him strength Lord Jesus that he would come Lord and preach the gospel Lord that he would come and preach the truth Lord Jesus that people would be saved that people would come to repentance through come this on. man God that you would use him as a vessel in the mighty name of Jesus God I pray that you would protect him Lord as he's here today, Lord, I pray, Lord, a blessing upon his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Oh, it was nice talking to you, man. All right, Gilbert. <laughs> Take care. Love you, Gilbert. Let's take a look at your shirt. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah. The church, what does it say, bro? It says, the church has left the building. And that's what I was talking about. A lot of people want to stay in church, but we're out. I got a few of my people from our church over here. We're outside sharing this good news that Jesus is alive. He still saves. He still heals, delivers, and sets people free. Hey, come on. All right, Gilbert. You take care, brother. Bless you. Right, have a good day, man. God bless you.